hands to this. What a beautiful name. The name is the name, name above all names. What a beautiful name. What a beautiful name it is. What a beautiful By this name. very name we have been saved. The name of Our shield, our strong tower. Hallelujah, Lord. We we really bless your name this beautiful morning. Thank you for your graces. Thank you for your love. Indeed, Lord, we hallow your name this morning. Thank you because you've been good to us. You have allowed us the grace of life and life not only in physical sense, but also life in you. And thank you because of waking us up this morning alive and strong and healthy, Lord Jesus. And we just want to bless your name this morning. And God, my Father, express our gratitude for what God you have done in our lives, our Father. We know, Lord Jesus, to be here today, Lord God. It's been out of grace and love that God you have extended to us, oh God, that we thank you, Jesus. We, we lift your name on high. You are indeed good, oh Lord Jesus. You are worthy to be praised. Glory and honor be to your holy name. Thank you for this morning, Lord Jesus, as we, as we share your word in this, my Father, beautiful devotional time. I pray that Lord God you may you may you may revive us again, my Father, that Lord God your word, my Father may light up our paths, O oh Jesus, that Lord God today as we lead out of the day, my God, we shall be lit uh, of you, Jesus, that your name be glorified in Christ Jesus. Amen and amen and amen. So hello and praise the Lord. Uh, I hope you are well wherever you are. And I uh, thank you for joining in for uh, today's devotion. It's beautiful and it's always a privilege and a great honor to have you join this beautiful morning. Um, thank you. So uh, this week, it's been uh, a, a focus for this week particular has been to be uh, fully armed. And uh, in the last uh, uh, five days, that has, we have been walking that journey on how to be, to be fully armed. And so uh, today, <clears throat> In particular, we shall be looking at uh, to to be fully armed and having the helmet of salvation. Our guideline uh, will be a scripture from Ephesians chapter six verse seven, which is very known to us. Uh, from ASV, it says that, and um, take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the spirit, uh, which is the word of God. Sorry, take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit which is the word of god allow me couple that with um colossians chapter chapter 3 verse 2 uh and this is what it says colossians chapter chapter 3 verse 2 uh um set your minds on things above not on earthly things set your minds on things above not on earthly Things. And this is Paul telling the, the Colossians church to set their minds on things above and not on earthly things. And that one kind of resonates with what Romans chapter 12 verse 2 really put very nicely that do not conform any longer to the patterns of this world but be renewed in your mind. And, and as we've been focusing on on, on being fully armed and and why are we fully armed because in the real sense as christians as believers we are in the battlefield you know and and, and when christ calls us to come and believe and to come and follow him he invites us not on a play field but in a battlefield and uh, we need to be fully to be fully armed and to be fully armed because the enemy of our soul is constantly waging war against us against our spirit and so we need to be to be fully armed and so we need to have to be fully to be to be fully armed indeed now Ephesians will tell us that we have what the helmet of salvation will protect of course our head and we should have uh, the sword the sword of the spirit which is the word of God and to me this one really stands out to be very key and across all those scriptures that we have read that the word of God stands very very supreme when it comes to as fighting the battle it stands it stands strong it stands supreme when it comes to us engaging in the battle now it is a sword and particularly in verse in verse in verse um in verse 17 of ephesians it is the sword the sword of the spirit which is the word of god and, and so we know of course you can use it to 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 attack and it's an offensive it's an offensive 
weapon. So we do know that the, 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 the battle, of course, it's won or lost in the mind. And that's why Romans will come and bring and tell us that we have our minds to be constantly renewed, renewed by what? By God's word. So that whenever we are waging and we wage these battles on a daily basis, whenever we are waging, we are ready, we are part. That means that 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 our minds, every thought, every desire, everything that is flesh that, that comes from the from our bodies has to be subjected under the authority of God's word in our lives. We have to take captive of every thought, every desire, every whim, you know, in, in, in us and bring it under the authority of God's word. And that is the only way that we come to, 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 to win, to win, to win this battle. And so today we are going to not only pray that God helps us, that we are going to be diligent and we are going to ask God to help us to be diligent in studying his, his word so that it so saturates our minds and saturates our thinking such that we do not, we do not lose this battle at any particular moment. And this is not just for, 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 for the sake of just coming to church. This is just us taking time and internalizing and meditating and taking God's word seriously because we do know that God's word is God himself. And when we have it in, his, in our minds, then we have God fighting our battles. Let's pray. Father in God, we thank you for you indeed God good to us. It is your desire that God as we journey the life and as we journey, oh God, in our journey of faith, that God, my Father, we win. And God, you it's, it's very clear that God, you call us into a battlefield and you never, and, and, and it's very clear, it's, it's a constant battle. And whenever we place and when, when, when we register that God, we are going to follow you. On that particular day, the enemy of our souls, oh God, my Father, staged and declared the war on us. But we thank you because, Lord God, we do not just fight for ourselves because God, as Hebrews chapter, chapter 1, verse 14, will say that indeed God, you send angels to be ministering spirits, oh God, for us. We do know that, God, you fight for us each and every moment, oh God. Father, you, you fight for us. You fight for us, God, even battles we are not even aware of, oh God. And so we have confidence in that, oh God, and we are thankful for that. However, we do know that, God, on a daily basis, a moment by moment, oh God, you call us to arise above Father and God to allow ourselves to be victorious because we are tempted a moment by moment. We are put into a test a moment by moment, God, my Lord, and it's your desire that we win because, Lord, you do not lose. You never lose any battle. You never lose any battle. And so you call us, God, to assume that level of God standard that God you call us to to be as your children. So God we pray that indeed oh God my Father you will enable us oh Holy Spirit of God to be diligent to be lovers of your word that we allow your word my Father to be so evident in our lives and to saturate our lives such that God your word my Father becomes flesh in us, oh God, my Father, it becomes alive. It becomes alive and it carries us through the seasons and it carries us through whatever moment that God we face in the name of Jesus Christ. This is our desire, oh God, that indeed in our moments when God we find time, that God, my Father, Lord God, and not only when we find time, but we are going to create time to read your word, that God, it just takes my father preeminence in our minds oh god and we allow every thought we allow every anxiety we allow every fear and every feeling in our bodies oh god to be subjective and to be under your authority of your word to the glory and to the honor of him so i pray that god this morning God, as we go to into our today's business, oh God, we shall not be worried, we shall not be carried by fear, we shall not, my Father, be overwhelmed by the worries of, of, of our wants and needs, and my Father, and ever-present needs, oh God, but we shall allow the calmness and rest that comes from my word, my Father, to take prevalence in our lives, oh God. We thank you and we praise you, oh God. We thank you because, oh Lord, you're fighting our battles today, God, as we go, my Father, God, you're fighting our battles as we come back, we shall fight our battles and by the power of the Holy Spirit living with us, Lord, we shall be victorious, that your name be glorified. We thank you and we praise you. Bless us as we go and bless us as we come back. For this is the prayer that we have prayed, O oh God, through Christ Jesus, our Lord and our Savior. Amen and amen and amen. 
Thank you very much. It's beautiful and thank you for joining us for today's devotion. And as you go, may the Lord bless you and do you good. And may his presence be together with you. And may you, he enable you to walk with heart courageous. Amen. All I want is all you